Charlie Howard's 73-yard pick six with 17 seconds left clinched a 27-20 victory in week one for Staples. Now they will be tasked with taking down the three-time defending state champion and number two team in the state, St. Joseph, in the week two game time CT game of the week. That was cranking. That was one of the coolest football games I've ever been a part of. That was awesome. It was a big swing from playing in our youth field with nobody there to having that going on. Week one, you guys have this great, you know, come from behind victory in the last second. Uh, what did you see out of your team in that game? A lot of resiliency. It's a really good football team, and to see them keep going for the whole four quarters when we had a lead and they were able to come back to see them keep swinging and finish it off was impressive. I loved our defense, you know, holding them to 60, around 60 yards rushing. Um, we had a lot of interceptions, too. Our offensive line played great, and our receivers played great, too. You know, I mean, we've been saying from the start that we just got a bunch of athletes that can ball out whenever, and we're super deep, and I think we really showed that on Friday. You know, you know we're not the biggest out there, but it doesn't really matter because we know we're tough, and we're. I thought we showed that very well, and when you combine toughness with athleticism, I really like the product we put on the field. How much momentum does that give you going into this game? Definitely a ton of momentum. I mean, it was just an unreal play, and just, just a wild play to end the game. I mean, a pick six, you can't really... That's just the stuff you dream about, and you know, so happy for Charlie. He was in the right place at the right time. Made a great play on the ball, and you know, the, uh, everyone else blocked for him. And it was just crazy, honestly. And that definitely does give us a bunch of momentum going just into the season in general. Because when you when you end a play on that, that's just huge momentum booster. I think that definitely gives us a little momentum, but we're not going to hang our heads on that. Um, it was just one win, and uh, we're past that. We're on to St. Joe's. So, I mean, it definitely gives us momentum, definitely gives us a little confidence, and uh, we're really looking forward to this game against St. Joe's. I'm really excited. I'm excited to see what our team does against St. Joe's. I know they're uh, number two right now in the state, but I believe we could really come out there and defeat them this week. St. Joe's is a really good team, but we, we're also a really good team, so I think our mindset going into that is, is not like oh, we're playing uh, the number two team in the state. We're just playing another team. It's another week. Um, obviously we're going to do our scouting and obviously they're really good, but, but we're just going to do our thing and, and we're going to trust that all the way. We need to not make mistakes. St. Joe's is a historic football program. They don't make a lot of mistakes. They're always going to play hard. They don't have bad football players on the field, so we need to make sure that we're not shooting ourselves in the foot and giving them more opportunities that they're going to create on their own. You know, what do you think is going to happen on Friday night? I think we're going to get the win and uh, I think uh, all around, we're going to play well, and we're going to we're going to play hard, and I think it's going to be a fun game. I think we're going to beat them. I think we're going to come out. We're going to show who we are, what the Staples records are about, and we're going to surprise a lot of people.